The crypto community, wow, it is some space. It's super interesting, so full of so many interesting and wonderful characters. Where do you sit in the crypto community? Are you the kind of person who gives some constructive feedback, some criticism? The thing is, right, I'm all for criticism about cryptocurrency, a company, Bitcoin, crypto.com, so long as there's some constructive feedback that goes with that. So for example, don't just go and call Crow or Crypto.com coin a sheet coin and then some swear words over the top and then just leave and that's it. Tell me why. Tell us why. Tell the community why they're a sheet coin to you. What was your experience? And then go on and just spend a little bit of extra time. If you are going to take the time to post on forums like Reddit, Twitter, Discord, make a YouTube video, take the time, be upset offer some constructive feedback, and suggest how you would have done things differently. Because to be completely honest with you, I don't know how you guys, as my loyal viewership, feel about this, but when I see people that are just ratting out on coins with no explanation and, and with no constructive feedback, yeah, it might be good for the YouTube algorithm when these annoying people post on my YouTube videos, but I'm not really here for that. I'm here building this YouTube channel because I'm a die-hard, passionate crypto bunny. Have a look at me for goodness sake. Have you seen this? It's a Bitcoin tattoo on my forearm, all right? And there's a penguin. I'm serious about crypto. I'm all in. And yes, crypto is not perfect. However, what you need to realize is that from time to time, you're gonna get upset, you're gonna lose money, you're gonna make money, but at the end of the day, depending on what happens to you, you have to take full responsibility for your actions. Remember the space that you are investing in. You are investing in a very speculative space to a lot of people. Yes, Bitcoin has been around for a long time, but even Bitcoin when it's in itself is a quite a risk to be honest when we compare it to more traditional stocks you're not investing in apple you're not investing in microsoft you're not investing in gold it hasn't been around for a long time 10 years is a fair track record but it is still relatively new and it's a new technology you are taking a risk but there is a reward there because you can risk a little bit and you can make a lot and if you're someone who invests in any altcoins, period. I don't care what altcoin it is, what it's doing, what the project is, who, you know, whether or not they have a, a reputable LinkedIn or a Twitter account associated with their crypto coin. In my personal opinion, you are essentially investing in a startup if you are investing in any altcoins. And if you are going to invest in a startup, you need to be prepared to lose it all and be able to cope with that be able to cope with that. And if you are one of these people that do end up losing it all, remember whose responsibility it is. It's not that cryptocurrency's responsibility that you lost your money. It's yours. You made the decision. You educated yourself. You were the one that did it. You lost or made the money. So you need to take full responsibility for this and stop going and bad mouthing crypto to all your friends and family. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story just to really go off the back of that. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about some reasons why I am still bullish on CRO, crypto.com as a company for 2021. I'm gonna to talk to you about some fundamental reasons why I'm holding onto my crow. Of course, the current climate hasn't been great, specifically for price action. But let's just all take a step back. Take a step back with me today in this video. There's gonna be a lot of value in today's video. If you like the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, of course, and comment on the video with anything at all. I will get back to every reasonable comment. If you are new around here as well, make sure you do follow me on my Twitter and Instagram handle at satoshioki7. I've also got a free link to my Telegram group in the description of this video. And of course, these videos, whilst I am a diehard crypto boy, I never financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. Enjoy the video, folks. You can still enjoy this one. Use the bilateral. <laughs> what is good, my crypto heads, and welcome back to the channel. And if you are new around here, welcome. You are here chilling with real 
Satoshi IOK on the channel where we bring you raw cryptocurrency news and information. I have been covering a lot of crypto.com related news lately because I am a big investor in crypto.com. I spend a lot of time in the crypto.com community and also just the crypto debit card space. You know, I like the idea of crypto debit cards. I was fascinated by that idea from the moment I entered the crypto sphere in 2017. So as I did already mention in the intro for this video, I'm bullish on Crow. I'm still bullish on crypto.com for 2021. Yeah, the price action is not great, especially if you were relying on that passive income. Maybe it was from the exchange. Maybe it was from your card. Maybe you were doing a card stake on the app. And of course, as we know, the interest rates have been dropped and, you know, lots of things have been cut. And yeah, you know, it's annoying. But they got a roadmap. Listen to the AMA. Chris Marslek, he's taking the business in a direction. Am I telling you to invest more? No, of course not. I'm not telling you anything. What I am saying is my experience and my own personal thoughts. All right. So let me, let me give you a little bit of insight. It's, all, it's a really interesting period for crypto. And it's a really interesting period for crypto.com. Essentially, they are still a startup. If we talk about the phase of them actually delivering their debit card, it's only really been in fruition for not even one year. Yet so many people are already starting to jump ship. They've jumped ship. They've gotten rid of their stakes. They're fed up. They've had enough. And to be honest with you, you might think that I'm sounding pretty contradictory in these videos because I have made a lot of videos in the past month about how annoyed and frustrated I've been with crypto.com. But if you actually go back and listen to every one of those videos, you'll actually find that not one time did I ever say that I was never bullish on crypto.com for the long term. In fact, it was quite the opposite. In every video, at one stage or another, I always said, that this is short-term pain, long-term gain, to make things simple. I'm still bullish on crypto.com for the long term, and there are just a few main reasons behind this. I'm gonna to talk to you about those fundamental reasons right now. Before I do do that, however, I just wanna give you some analogies, some comparisons, just so we've got some stuff to work with and just to give you a little bit more context when I do go in to explaining the fundamentals behind crypto.com. Let's take the king of crypto. Can you guess which one it is? I'll give you a second. BTC, baby, ticker symbol, BTC. <laughs> Granddaddy. Bitcoin, oh my God, Bitcoin's so boring. It's so cumbersome. It's never gonna be used as cash transactions. God, are you one of these people? Are you honestly still one of these people that can't just let go of that white paper? Are you one of these people that went off with the, the Bitcoin fork and you're a Bitcoin cash person? Things change, technology changes. If you haven't noticed, the world changes every single second. We are living in a dynamic world, a dynamic industry and the dynamics of Bitcoin over the 10 years of its existence have changed. It is no longer being used as cash. It is a store of value. It is turning itself into the global reserve currency. And it is the most decentralized and most secure cryptocurrency. And it has the highest market capital. People use Bitcoin for things, well, will use Bitcoin for things like purchasing a house where the transaction doesn't need to go through in a second. It can take a day, all right? It can take a day. But people who choose to use Bitcoin to buy something like a house where they've got to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars because it is more distributed. It is more decentralized. The decentralization is more worldwide. It's more global and it is still anonymous. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto, you want to know? We are Satoshi Nakamoto, the people, all right? It's power to the people. So that's the use case for Bitcoin. Why am I going on? Yeah, I know I'm going on a bit, but it's all important. Do stay tuned. You want to know how many people bought Bitcoin at around 17,000, 18,000, 19,000, almost 20,000 US dollars? You want to know how many people probably sold then after buying at 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, all the way down to 3,000? And out of those people that sold at a loss, I wonder how many people went away and told their friends about how crappy Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and the whole space was and how they got scammed out of their money and that it's a fraud. What do 
are they thinking now? Bitcoin ain't 3K like it was at the start of the year anymore. It's almost at 14K. It's finding a nice support level around 13K. And 20K is very much potentially on the cards for the end of this year. And if not, possibly the start of 2021. What do you think about that? Let me know what your price prediction will be for Bitcoin at the end of 2020. So to really, to really give you the point of why I'm telling you this story is basically to say that these kinds of people would have bought in at 19,000, sold at 3,000, left the space, they've got a friend that asks them about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and their response is, oh, nah, 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 Bitcoin's no good, it's crap, I lost all this money. And that person then, the friend that they're talking to, gets a bad impression of the space. But at the end of the day, for every person that lost money, for every person that sold at 19,000, sorry, bought at 19,000 and sold at 3,000, there's gonna be a person that bought at 3,000 and sold at 19,000. And they had a nice experience with crypto. So it goes back to my original talking point at the start of the video. It comes down to the responsibility of you, the responsibility of yourself, how you manage your crypto, where you're gonna sell, all right? It's the same thing with Ethereum. When Ethereum was sub $100, people thought, ah, oh, the idea of a smart contract, yeah, no way, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. There would have been people that bought Ethereum at less than 50 bucks, and they would have sold at over $1,000. Ethereum, in my opinion, <laughs> ETH 2.0 is gonna be absolutely massive. Whether it works or not, the coin is gonna get absolutely pumped on speculation. And I hope it does work, because yes, I am a holder in ETH. Am I a believer? Yeah. Do I think it's gonna succeed? 75, 80% chance it does succeed. Whereas Bitcoin, more like 99%. But my point is, again, with Ethereum, People, there's always gonna be haters that say, oh, it's a sheet coin, it's never gonna work, it's never gonna work. But again, Bitcoin's a digital gold, global reserve currency, most anonymous, it's there, it's the king of crypto. Ethereum is the king of smart contracts. You don't compare Ethereum to Bitcoin. They are two different things. Ethereum is for smart contracts, Bitcoin's a store of value, it's digital gold. I'm gonna go off crypto now and just give you an example. You don't wanna know how many people told me not to buy Tesla at 200 US dollars a share. That's when, this was probably about a year and a half ago. Don't quote me on that. But Tesla, I bought 12 shares at around 220 US dollars a share. This was before the stock split, mind you. You know what the price got up to before the stock split? Within a year? over a thousand US dollars for one Tesla stock. You wanna know how many Tesla haters there were down at 220 saying, don't buy Tesla, don't buy Tesla, it's too volatile, Elon Musk is crazy, don't do it. Elon Musk is a visionary. And you wanna know why it's succeeding? Because it's the only real EV company in its space. There's no competition. There's no competition that can come next to Bitcoin. There's no competition in my eyes that is gonna come up to Ethereum. There's no other fully, well, fully autonomous or fully electric vehicle companies that are gonna match Tesla. Of course, we've got a lot of electric, uh, well, of course we've got a lot of car companies like Ford, GM, BMW, Renault. They're making electric cars, but they still got diesel cars, right? Tesla is all in on electric vehicles, so, it's their end of the market share. They're the king of that space, all right? Do stick with me. I am getting around to my first point about crypto.com, I promise you. All right, now, with crypto.com, whilst they're not perfect, like Bitcoin, it's not perfect. Ethereum's not perfect. Tesla's not perfect. These are things that I invest in, by the way, all right? These thing, they're things that I invested in at a low market cap, and I've taken profits along the way, and I've been holding and I always will hold a long-term stack of those three assets. All right. In my eyes, crypto.com is no different. Of course, they've done some silly things. I don't, I'm not trying to justify any, any of the silliness that has gone on over the last month. What I'm trying to do is ask you to take a step back and realize that where's the competition for crypto.com? Swipe is not competition yet. I think they will be in about a year's time, but they're not quite there yet. 
what other cards are there in the space that can compete with crypto.com? I think what a lot of you out there forget to realize, or maybe you just don't even understand, you know how hard it is to actually set up a crypto debit card company like crypto.com? You don't see the loops and bounds and the obstacles that get in the way, the regulations and just the headaches. And there's just high potential for danger to get sued. And goodness, they just there's so much going on with it, setting up a company like that. They're, Crypto.com, what they're doing is they're paving their way. They're paving, they're plowing through the snow and the mountain. They're climbing up. They are creating the road for crypto debit cards. Yeah, I know there's been ones in the past, but where are they? They failed. Coinbase card, no good. What other cards are there? I mean, I had a Wirex card. It was not a Wirex card, sorry. Um, God, I can't. Wire tokens, I can't even remember what the card is called. Sorry about that. But there's no other crypto cards that have even come to really test crypto.com at all. So what I'm saying to you is they're the only players in the space, so they can afford to make a few mistakes and when 2021 comes around and people are going to be cashing out Bitcoin when it blasts through 20,000 US dollars, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think they're going to wait two to three days and pay high volume transaction fees and maybe even conversion fees to withdraw money back into their bank accounts? No, 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 no. That's not what's going to happen. They're going to be looking for the best crypto debit card company to use to get the best cashbacks and the best perks for their crypto being a third party. And they're going to go for that service and they're going to use that to spend their Bitcoin bull run rocket fuel profits. And you want to know where these people I think would be putting their money when that time comes? You can't see it yet. But that's what I predict. This is what a lot of people are talking about. And they're not well. This is what not really a lot of people are talking about. Sorry, but I am mentioning it here. These people are going to be putting their money in companies like Crypto.com. You know, they're going to take a backward step. The fact of the matter is, you get an Obsidian Black card, you get eight percent cash back. You invest in a company like Swipe, you get a Slate card for less than thirty, around thirty thousand US dollars. Now you can get eight percent cash back with amazing perks. Where would you put your money? My personal cash out plan is I'm not taking out any any big portions of BTC until it hits at least 100K and then I'll probably even then still reassess. That's the first real reason that I would say to still be bullish on the fundamentals of crypto.com in the long term. Then when the bull run really does come, you know how many heads that's gonna turn? You know how many average individuals are gonna be looking at the mainstream media and saying, oh my God, PayPal just accepted Bitcoin. I can buy Bitcoin on PayPal now. You know how many heads it's going to turn? You know how many people are going to be looking into the best ways to buy crypto? Who's got the best marketing in the crypto space? It's crypto.com, in the, especially in the crypto debit space, crypto debit card space. Crypto.com has amazing marketing. They are going to hook, line, and sinker so many people into the crypto.com community. People that didn't suffer early on. And I know it's kind of bad to say this, but... Us as early investors in crypto.com, we're just going to have to suck it up and either stay stay around, keep holding long term, or just leave. Because the fact is, in five years time, we are not going to matter. There are going to be new investors on the crypto.com platform investing in cards, buying cards, using the earned services, borrowing and lending, using DeFi products on crypto.com. And this is all a bullish sentiment for crypto.com when this bull market does come into full effect. And guys, simply remember, they are a working product. Crypto.com is a proven working product. The app is pretty good. It's really nice. It's a good user experience. The color schemes are good. They got good branding. It's really confusing if you're starting, especially if you don't know anything about crypto, but you can learn. You can learn and all the different areas they have on the app just makes sense. I know it's all like set up to push you to get more CRO and it's a bit aggressive and like, just chill out and let us get our rewards in Bitcoin, which is what Swipe are doing, okay, which I think they should implement personally, crypto.com. But anyway, it's a seamless app. It's really good to use in my experience. I know people out there have had bad experience with the app, but on the whole, it's a pretty darn good service and it's easy for use for new individuals that are coming on to learn about crypto. They could do with some tutorials though, mind you, but on the whole, it's pretty satisfactory, wouldn't you agree? To really just sum up this video, I just wanna say, 
People called the death of BTC around 3000. People called the death of Ethereum before it even started when it was under $50. People called the death of Tesla when it was $200. And now, even with its stock split, it's over the original amount in which I bought it. I don't know what people are saying about Power Ledger. I didn't mention the Power Ledger token, but if, if you've seen my videos on Power Ledger, I'm super bullish on them because they are one of the, uh, them and Energy, NRG token, are two big players in the renewable energy space for crypto. That's a massive sector. Especially with the world and the way it is now with climate change, global warming and destruction of the planet, etc. <laughs> We've always needed renewable energy services, especially in crypto. The point I'm trying to make is, yes, this is an interesting time for crypto.com because so many people are calling it dead. It's dead, it's done in the water, it's never coming back. I say no. I say crypto.com's here to stay. I'm bullish, I don't think it's a scam. I'm annoyed at the price action lately because it means I can't use any of my CRO that I'm using. I'm not spending it, I'm holding it for the long term, putting it into Supercharger, and just not even looking at it until February or sometime next year. I think they're gonna stay around. I think the price is gonna recover. And I think for you holders out there of CRO token that are thinking about selling at a loss, I'm not telling you not to sell, but what I am saying is think about what I've said. Take a backward step. Think about the holistic view of the whole cryptocurrency space. Think about the fact that crypto.com are the only debit card player and that they are more or less taking 100% market share of the cryptocurrency space at a time where BTC is about to go to the moon, Mars, Pluto, Saturn, Venus, Jupiter, and beyond. It is going big time, baby. And I think that's going to rip the world a new one. And we're going to see some great price action, not just from crypto.com, but SXP and a lot of other cryptos that serve real value and have real use case. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know whether you think what I'm saying is balls and let's just create a discussion. Don't just call me out and say I'm a douchebag, all right? If you think I'm a douchebag, it's fine. I get that, but I just lay my 100% honest personality on the line every single video I make to create community, to create discussion, to get to know really awesome, interesting people in the crypto space, make new friends, and just have a good time at the end of the day. I love this. So again, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like the video, comment on the video. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, viewers.